the life in the eyes. Life is always in the eyes. <gasps> There's a monster. All the kids love the book, and I, I, I just have the best actors and the best script, and, and it was the perfect project, you know? There was a fantastic English writer uh, called Siobhan Dowd who wrote four really terrific uh, YA novels, young adult novels, and this was going to be her fifth, but she wrote all of her work knowing that she had cancer, and knowing that it was terminal, so she wrote as quickly as she can. And she died just before she could really start A Monster Calls. And so a really unusual place to get an idea for a book, but it felt like, felt like being handed a baton in a relay race, which I then hand on, uh, so that it was a, once in a career experience, I think. Of course, when I read the book, Patrick's book, I was like, come on, this, this, is, this is one of my movies, you know? And just uh, having the idea of how Sivan tried to write a story, trying to help kids uh, coping with loss. I mean, that's such a great concept. I feel very lucky. Um, you had the terrible idea of casting me as a grandmother. <laughs> and <laughs> then it was too late, I said yes. Um, but I was delighted because um, to do, well, I, I knew Bayona's work, and I thought this was such a perfect marriage of director and uh, project. I just thought, wow. When we first met, we were both in tears by the end of the <laughs> by the end of the meeting, due to the power of the story, and, and it, it felt like with Lewis and Sigourney and, and all the elements were in place to make something really special. I know everything about you, Connor O'Malley. The truth you dream. The truth that you hide. I was asked to audition, and then um, shortly after that, I actually read the book, and that's uh, really when, like, I saw what a beautiful story it was, and how, and how it could really help people, and so that's really made me want to get the part. You know, they were nothing but nice to me, and made me feel really comfortable around them. They were great. It was unique. There was something so different from the from the rest of the of the other kids, and they were good kids. I, I really liked the idea that. Somehow, when I met uh, Louis, he was still finding to trying to trying to find out who he was, which is a similar process that Connor is going through in the story. You know? I don't think s easy villains are very interesting, and so the more ambiguous you get, uh, I'm more interested in this character as a real um, living being creature. And the idea of being kind without being nice is really fascinating to me. You can be nice without being kind, and that is pure evil. That is. But to be kind without being at all nice is absolutely fascinating. And that was the aim for the monster. He's kind, he's not at all nice. I'm afraid. Of course you are afraid. But you will make it through. For this is why you called me.